I'm here as the founder and designer of Art by Physicist, which is a tech fashion brand. And I am a physicist, but I love doing art on the side. That's why I started a brand to represent intellectual women through the scientific embedded and uh, technology embedded clothing. And uh, here, for example, you have, uh, you're showing some of your latest stuff that you're launching. What are we looking at here? Yeah, we're looking at a video of this very overcoat here. It has these beautifully designed solar panels in the lotus shape. This is our collaboration with a German company called Armor, and they make very cool thin film solar panels in interesting artistic shapes. So it matches perfectly well with this dress, which is featuring my painting on the fabric of a lotus pound. So we integrated two modules here where you can actually go into the sun and charge your phone or any other electronic devices through a USB charger. And it, it brings convenience, but also it shows an artistic design of technology. And, uh, and here's another video, or is this the same video? Um, so basically, you have a USB cable in the pocket, and boom, yeah. you're charging with the sun. Exactly. And it's cool because it's very thin, and we've never seen any unregular shapes of the, the dress before. And Nicholas, we met a long time ago in ID Tech X. So it's actually a company that I also met there. Uh, we were in the same booth. I was demonstrating this uh, coat where I don't know if you remember, we had uh, the, the wings embedded inside this coat and it was moving. But it's not, it's not practical, it's very cool and fun. Uh, so I wanted to upgrade that code into something functional. That's why we started this collaboration and embedded solar panels inside. Yeah, uh, that, that video is really cool. Maybe I can just uh, show for a second. Right here, I'm going to, oh, sorry. I just need to click on the right thing. Uh, right there. Yeah, people can watch it on, on the YouTubes. And right, you, that you was. Have, <laughs> yeah. Two years that ago, was before, we were before the crazy times. Exactly. Yeah. And so in this video, you see my handmade designs of 3D printed uh, dresses and light up shirts, also uh, environmental data detection dresses, as well as this design that was moving on the mannequin. So we'll see that in a bit. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you see so it's moving in the background. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the one uh, that's flying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's right here. Huh? I try to jump yeah. forward. Uh, it's, it looks like it wind, me. but it's like uh, yeah. you, can, you can make it fly. Yeah. So I don't know, uh, Nicholas, if you can post the link to yeah. this video in the, in the YouTube. Of course. Yeah. Comments. Yeah, people can find yeah. this video and they can watch more the information. And uh, if mm -hmm. I come back to to your screen. So, so where are you joining uh, us from right now? Where are you based? I'm right now based in Germany. And I've been working in my own studio for a year now. Uh, so just a couple of days ago, uh, Thursday, <laughs> two days ago, we launched our Kickstarter. That's where uh, this code is one of the rewards, one of the new products that we're launching through this Kickstarter here. So you'll be able to find it through Art by Physicist, Tech Fashion, where art and STEM meet. And uh, Nicholas can share the link in the caption description of the video. So, so uh, then pe see, people can, yeah. uh, can, can, uh, they can boost your, your campaign and get the, the, the dress. How much would it cost to get one? Exactly. So there are different tiers. Uh, we have different prices for, uh, we'll, we'll later show very quickly a lot of new designs we are showing, we are launching. So you can pick whichever design that you like the most. So for this particular one, 
we're selling at two prices. One is a special edition that has a discount, which is $549. And uh, that is a 25% off retail price. And then later on, if you get into the second shipment, that will be 579. The technology is very new. Yeah, and it's unique. Like, uh, you, uh, no, you can't find a solar charging dr uh, dress anywhere, right? Even I yeah, would... uh, especially with uh, thin film, is completely laminated onto the fabric, and it's very thin. You don't you don't actually feel anything, and it's got a really thin wire that's completely hidden inside uh, the lining, so you don't see anything that is sticking out. Um, and the charger comes through the pocket. How do you connect the the solar panel to the to the charger? And to yeah, the cable? there's actually some wires hidden inside that goes through the inside, and it goes into the pocket, and it's just connected through normal electrical connection. Uh, there there are two electrodes at the very bottom of each module. There's a positive and, and a negative. So it is all directly integrated with no trace of electronics. Uh, we got one comment saying, uh, I've seen more and more cosplayers doing similar things, mixing technology with costumes. It's, yeah. it's the future for sure. What do you think? It's super fun, yeah. For, for cosplay, you definitely can do a lot of things that are fancier. Uh, instead of daily wear, you can also make very very cool looking and maybe not so functional, but uh, very uh, nice demos. Uh, what are we looking at here? Really, yeah, we really want to make uh, daily wearable, or occasional uh, wearables where you can very easily have technology integrated into part of the something that you would normally wear. So this is the same idea, but it's a different design. It's also a painting that I did uh, a very beautiful scenery by the Lee River. Uh, this is a attachable bow. You can remove it and you can uh, just uh, carry it or, or wear it. So it's very convenient. Uh, the wiring is also hidden inside the bow. You don't, you don't see it at all. And you can even put your phone in there. I actually think, um, and I've been saying kind of like, I, I, it's not jokingly, but I think that the next iPhone is uh, smart uh, wearables, uh, like what you call it, like uh, smart clothing. And I have a category on my website just about smart clothing because everybody uh, ha has clothes, right? Everybody needs yeah. clothes, and it better yeah. get smart at some point. And if it gets smart, it's going to be huge business. Uh, do you agree? Yeah. yeah, and we have so much real estate on the body. We can really use all kinds of places to embed electronics and you don't have to carry a device with you. But yeah, for sure, uh, we need to get smarter. That's why we're doing this early work to embed electronics into fabrics uh, to make it part of the, the fashion. So what are we looking at here? This one is a dress that has a LED panel embedded. You can actually program it to change graphics anytime with a app. Uh, in this video, you will see that I, I, I handmade, uh, I painted the earth and I painted all of the graphics as shown in the video. Uh, so you can make your own GIF and video and images and then just send it through your phone to the, to the dress on the go. That, I mean, uh, some people wear dresses because they want to be seen, right? And uh, it's it's important to be like the start of the, of the show a little bit. I'm just saying, like, I don't know if I'm, I'm a yeah. guy, so I wouldn't know, right? But uh, And so if you have it light up with all kinds of amazing, cool things, you're going to win the party, no? Yeah, for sure. And you can impress your friends any time. Uh, you can have your friends draw stuff and show up on the, on the dress. So it's right is, there. Yeah, you see, I'm wearing a top version. Uh, we also have this dress version. This is also available on Kickstarter as part of the new collection. It looks so cool. Um, uh, what's the mm -hmm. What's the LED able to do? 
uh, you have all these, like I see the app and it connects and you're able to show whatever you want on, on the dress. You exactly, show, like, the yeah. Planet. It's a really big panel, yeah. And this is inspired by NASA image. So I actually hand drew all these lights and stars uh, and the moon moving around the Earth. So it match matches perfectly with the design of the dress. But of course, you can upload anything uh, in addition to astronomical images. And in the app itself, it includes a lot of different images you can even pick from. I mean, th this this looks like something that I would think should be mass mass produced. And uh, I agree. Uh, yeah. How how do you how do you get there? Are you are you going there? Are you already doing that? Or what's that's the, why what's we the are plan? driving we're, we're driving this through a Kickstarter because we want to get uh, pre orders from people. We do hope that uh, this will be something a lot of people are interested so that we can make this on demand. Uh, I talk about the overproduction problem in our previous interview, that the fashion industry has been generating a lot of waste and pollution uh, by overproducing clothing that uh, people are not buying. So it's actually 30% of clothes ever produced on the planet get sent to landfill or get burned, and it generates so much waste. So what we want to do here is we think that clothing manufacturing should be the same way as uh, other things that we can do made to order. So uh, we want to use the Kickstarter to drive the demand and then we go produce more. If there's not enough buying, then we should save the planet for not, uh, by not producing. And um, I, I would think it's a perfect fit with, the, with what you're saying. Uh, I'm already skipping to, to this one there, this video. When, when you're saying that, um, and when the idea is that this should be like the next iPhone, where people uh, it does it doesn't have to be maybe that cheap, and people would take care of it more because it has special functionalities, then you don't you're not just gonna buy like a uh, hundred different dresses, mm -hmm. for example. That's you might right. just buy a few because they have really something that you really care about, and yeah. so if you buy fewer and more special ones, it's better for for the world. The environment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you get the customization. You can change uh, the, the dress based on your liking anytime. Um, actually, since I started making clothes myself, I kind of stopped buying. I have very uh, few my favorite clothing dresses. I wear, wear those often. So you, you're buying less but gaining more. Nice. What are we looking at here with the micro bit? How you connected? Mm, yeah, this is the test. Uh, so I was using the micro bit to indicate temperature. Uh, this is, you're looking at on the left a soft, flexible heater by the company Lumia Tech. They have been making this flexible, durable, thin electronics, including a heater like this. You can heat it up very easily through a USB charger. Uh, and is very easily applicable onto fabrics. So here you're seeing that I am basically transferring the pad, the heating pad onto the fabric in between two layers of this coat that I made. So you can then uh, put a charger in it and start heating up. So this idea is also to provide, uh, especially women, we don't like to wear too much in winter, but it gets really cold and we get really bulky. So this way, if we can heat up our coats, we don't have to wear a lot. So this is an embedded heater, very easily applicable. Um, by the way, this is a coat that I designed with my hand-painted perennial flowers. Uh, and it's reversible, so you can wear this side with many beautiful summer flowers like hydrangea and roses and peony. And then you can wear this side. It has pothos and hollies. Uh, I hand drew all of these graphics and the patterns were also digitally printed onto the coat. So there's very little waste in the uh, making of this coat that's 
everything is directly printed onto the fabric. And I cut the patterns directly out of the fabric. There's no paper pattern. There's no transfer of patterns. And then I just embedded the, the heater in between the layers and you don't see it at all. But again, a USB charger comes out of the battery. You can very easily heat, heat this code up. Because uh, there's <laughs> always like a trade-off between uh, uh, looking good and, and not freezing sometimes. Is it That's right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we really think that there's not enough technology that's designed fashionably, especially to, uh, uh, that appeal to women. We care a lot about the design, the complexity, uh, but sometimes there's always a trade-off between um, something that's functional and then beautiful. You can't mix the two. But what I'm trying to do here is really to combine all the good things together. So just your power bank in the bucket mm -hmm. is going to heat you up. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's just, it. Just uh, bring your power bank, connect it in the bucket. And uh, yeah. how many dresses in the world do that? Are you the only one who invented this? Like nobody's doing this? Uh, I don't know. I think we are pretty early. Uh, this heater was also just made available earlier this year by Lumia. So we are one of the, the first people doing this. And of course, the heater can be applied to a lot of things. So if you look at their website, they have many inspirations on where to apply flexible and thin e-textiles. Uh, you can put it in uh, sportswear, you can put it in even seating and textile anywhere. So the, the imagination and possibilities are endless. Uh, so I want to do this to, to show people we have so many great opportunities ahead. Nice. So this perennial coat is uh, quite complex and hard to make. So this is a stretch goal for the campaign. If we get enough order, we will, we will manufacture it. Nice. And then if I click right here, uh, you have this one uh, there. Maybe I can play yeah. the music a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so people can be in the mood watching this. Oh, is it copyrighted music? I hope not. No, it's okay. not. So what's going on here? This is uh, this is also what we're using for the background of this video. Yep. Uh, you've got all the astrological signs, and you can just light yeah. them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a also a new e-textile innovation I collaborated with Nova Centrix on. Uh, Nova Centrix was also at IDTEX <laughs> X back then in that event. So you see that we have designed 12 constellations that's on uh, the fabric. You can directly print these flexible electronics, LEDs and the circuit onto fabrics and apply that onto fashion design. We designed 12 constellations for, for every person for your birthday, you have your customized constellations. So when you make an order, you can let us know which constellation you want and we will custom make it for you. Then they can be like a pattern in terms of how they light up and they're blinking and stuff like that? They're not, they're not blinking, it's, it's pure uh, light up. Uh, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't make the blinking, yeah. not, not really necessary. <laughs> All right. So actually it was, it was a great event for you. Um, the, here's a comment, fashion everywhere. Yeah, fashion is, uh, fashion is, like it's it's also I, I I cover a lot about electronics, and mm -hmm. I, I see all these guys, mostly guys. There's a few girls, right? But uh, guys going around and saying, "Ah, oh, this phone is ugly. This phone is beautiful and stuff." It's kind of like the fashion critics, and not really uh, just talking about the tech. But there's no reason it has it cannot be combined. Of course, it has to be combined. Everything has to look good and and be functional. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, with let's say women being interested in, in gadgets, right? And trying to. Yeah. Is it That's right also point? a mission of the brand is to encourage more women and girls to be interested in STEM, uh, science, 
technology, engineering, and math, and encourage them to pursue the uh, technical fields. And our brand donates the any in profit, we donate 5% to STEM and STEAM, which has the art in it. Uh, we want to show that we want to represent the intellectual, have, have intellectual representation for women. Most of the time we see uh, fashion just being the vanity and uh, the prettiness uh, without much thoughtfulness included. So we want to really show uh, all the, all the good, good things, the beauty and the intelligence in our work and encourage more women, more people to pursue this. I, I'm thinking that the, the possibilities are limitless when you think about clothes and you have to be stylish and you also want to try to figure out how to make it functional and useful and all kinds of electronic technological ways where you can control, use power and do wireless things and use Bluetooth and sensors. I mean, it's crazy mm -hmm. how many possibilities there are right here. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I know there's a lot of uh, companies working in, in uh, smart clothing, of course, but they, it's it's not in a level where it should be. It should be really like the new iPhone, I think, because the iPhone, what's happened every year is just like a, a slightly different. But there's so much else that can be done, and why not do it through through uh, fashion? Yeah, and we are showing a lot of different types of possibilities. Uh, when you, yeah, this is this is actually a classic design that we had through the brand. Yep. Um, this just lights up. This doesn't have uh, special. This this is one of the early works, but we are making this a reward because it's one of the most popular designs. Uh, and all of the constellations are my hand painted drawings, printed digitally onto the fabrics. Uh, it's fun. It has uh, all the details that uh, women may like. Uh, it's got a, a very good shape, and it's got bows on the back, and you can light it up and party. <laughs> I, the, the bottom has the fairy string LEDs, and it has pockets. It's very, very important. You can put stuff in pockets. There's not, believe it or not, a lot of dresses and skirts don't have pockets, and women Why? love pockets. Why? <laughs> do, do women not want to carry things with them, or what's the, what's the idea here? We do want, but they don't make it. That's why all of my designs have pockets. Very simple, but it's an element. At least, at least to put the phone in one pocket and the power bank in the other one, right? Or something like you that. You could, yeah. Or, or oh, cash. Of, yeah, you can put yeah. all, all kinds of things in the pocket. It's, it's so convenient. I, I love wearing this. So there's a one comment, uh, comment uh, with solid state batteries, safer, light up dresses is surely on the rise. Look mm. like you're you went ahead. So what do you think Thank about you. those solid state batteries or safe battery? I mean, they're like lithium ion. Everybody has their phones in their pockets, and they're like only a few of them explode. I'm joking, but I mean <laughs> it happens once in a while. But it's not that bad, right? I mean, uh, if people are using phones all the time in their pockets, uh, lithium ion is great. But what do you think about all these kind of like flexible batteries, and that mm. can be more more easily in, embedded into clothes? That's exactly what we need next. So I saw I showed a lot of the ideas with a thing power bank, but I am waiting for the flexible batteries to become more mature because that will mean so much we can just embed into the fabrics and thin layer. And better that they're water resistant and the water safe, you can you can also wash it. Right now we have to remove the the parts, the, the battery before we throw the clothes into the washing machine. Nice. So you just uh, you just remove the battery uh, and then boom, it's fine. Washing machine, everything mm -hmm. is good, right? Um, yeah. So, so for different works. designs, we yeah, it's different for different designs. So some of them you can just remove the battery and, and wash. Some of them, the, the whole part is detachable. Like the bow that I showed earlier, you just take that one off. Uh, so it depends on the design. When we ship out the products, we also provide the instructions on how to take care of clothes. It would be nice if, uh, let's say, you have a solar panel. Uh, do you, is it washable in the, sol in the washing machine or do you just take it out and put it back in after it's washed? 
So the uh, the one on the lotus one, we recommend we uh, hand wash the clothes. Like for normal clothes, there are already different ways of washing, like dry cleaning, machine wash, and hand wash depends on the design. So that one we recommend uh, hand wash. Uh, you can try, but I think it's less about getting water damage. It's more about we probably don't want to wrinkle and uh, stretch the, the electronics too much. Um, but like the the Guilin dress that has the, the bow on it, we can just remove the bow and the dress itself is just machine washable. Nice. There we have your promo video going on, I think. Um, ah, is it you. the one yeah. from the Kickstarter? That's for the Kickstarter. And uh, how, how's it going with your Kickstarter? So wh what is the goal and uh, how soon is it uh, maybe shipping for everybody who supports your Kickstarter? Yeah, I can show you the timeline. We want to be able to ship many things starting in August. Uh, so we just launched it two days ago and we did pass the half 50% uh, mark. Um, but of course, we, we would love to see more momentum and really uh, have fully found it so that we can then move on to the next few months. In August, we can immediately ship some of the products. We have the Starry Night dress and the Earth Wi-Fi dress. Uh, they're already ready. And I'm going to show you uh, these two Bluetooth brooches next. But let me finish with the timeline. Uh, in, in October, we have a few more uh, rewards that we can ship, like the Starry Night Constellation shirt, because we need some time to customize the LEDs for people's order. And then we're going to uh, have the Lotus and the Guilin solar powered dress and overcoat ship in October as well. So just actually, uh, as we speak now, we have made a lot of progress. I just received uh, this prototype yesterday, which is really, really good. So we will be able to uh, produce them at scale if we have enough orders. Uh, in December, we have these brooches I'm going to talk about next. Uh, second batch and also the Earth Wi-Fi uh, second batch, if there, uh, there are enough orders. Then uh, we have second batches of the solar powered dress and coat, then we do have a stretch goal. If we hit 30K, um, because there is a 50 units minimum order quantity for that uh, heated reversible coat. So if we get to that uh, stretch goal, we'll be able to make it for early next year. Uh, if there's not enough order, then hopefully uh, in the future we'll make it. Nice. But uh, as you were mentioning, and uh, as we showed before, uh, you were at this, uh, the ID Tech X show. What year was that? Uh, and there's all these, uh, these companies there, right? That you're yeah. partnering with now. And, and so yeah. it was a good show for you, right? To be there. Um, and uh, I w this, this is, I would I would expect this to to be in the interest of some of these companies to to see you get to your minimum goals. Maybe they want to kind of like us. Uh, uh, there could be investors potentially that comes in and joins and says, "Let's let's let's make it big," something like that. Yeah, we have so many opportunities and ideas. If we could reach the goal, then we'll be able to do more. And also, I uh, really want to drive made to order. So just reverse the overproduction model that the industry has is to get enough orders, uh, but even on demand, uh, based on how many orders gets placed and be able to manufacture those on the number that people actually order. So instead of overproducing to like a mass, uh, like hundreds or thousands of the same unit, I think this is a very niche market and all the fashion products should be made on demand. So we want to develop software and manufacturing tools to allow designers to very easily uh, upload their designs digitally. So we want to do 
uh, digital design at getting people's interest. Um, if they want physical products, we'll be able to send the digital files and get the manufacturers to, to make them. So that's uh, a long, long term vision we have. Uh, I think I, I lost your audio. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I muted myself. It's really interesting <laughs> to see the, the work that you're doing with, uh, with all this uh, uh, smart technology that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can talk about, yeah, uh, do we want to finish the video? Or yeah, maybe you can uh, describe minutes, what, so we're seeing, no. what we're seeing. So, uh, try to describe what we're seeing in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see I was wearing this charger. So apparently you can also charge uh, a little bit. It depends on the lighting. In Indoor, you can even do some charging. Uh, so I want to be able to provide women an opportunity to get their hands on fashionable technologies. So this is really crafted to satisfy women's tastes and their pursuit for beauty, as well as intellectual functionality. So yeah. my work was featured- In the catwalk. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, that was San Francisco Fashion Week. That was one of my first fashion shows. Uh, it had really good uh, re receiving from the audience. Uh, this was me making prototypes. And yeah, a lot of the uh, ideas were conceived back then, but I had to make everything by hand. There's There wasn't any way to manufacture any of those. So I really explored the processes by building my brand and figuring out how manufacturing works, how the industry is doing things. Maybe I can do it differently. Like here, I do everything digitally, all the paintings, drawings, patterns, I do them digitally so that it, there's no material waste. And we can directly send the files for on-demand production, like 3D printing and digital printing. So yeah, we would hope that we get some opportunities and support by the audience to allow us to scale this because I mentioned we also want to donate to environmental protection and STEAM nonprofits. So if we can get to where we want to be, we can contribute more to the society. I would think, uh, let's say with this strange uh, year that we've had, uh, that it, it would be even more relevant for uh, smart wearables and smart technology, smart clothing to be more and more relevant uh like we should be able to uh what's it called uh um uh like take care of each other in society and 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 mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say like track but like uh i don't know like they, they have all these uh mm -hmm. yeah they, there's all kinds of uh, things that could potentially be done like uh when you measure the the body make sure people are healthy uh, that their the oxygen levels are good, the 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 mm -hmm. blood pressure is good. There's so much potential for other kind of things that potentially you could think of, right? And mm -hmm. maybe you might be interested yeah. or not, but I guess there's so much potential. Yeah. So I want to mention these Bluetooth connected brooches. You mentioned Bluetooth just now. Uh, is especially designed for family and friendly interactions. So these come in uh, as a pair. And they are designed in very beautiful flower shapes. These are actually also my, my hand drawings. Uh, imagine a mother and her child each is wearing one. It has many sensors on them. It's got touch sensing, LEDs, vibration, uh, and distance sensing accelerometer. So it's open source, you can even program them to do whatever interaction you want. Uh, right now, they are programmed when uh, they go out of the factory, we program them to have this one function which det detects distance between two people. So if a child wears this with her mother or his mother, they would, or parents, doesn't have to be mother, but I is my personal experience almost getting lost from, from my mom. <laughs> 
it, both of them detect distance. So if the child, for any reason, gets separated from the parent, uh, the parent one would start vibrating. So only the parent knows. Uh, so you can program di different distances. Right now, it's already vib vibrating because I put a very sensitive distance detection. Now they stop. So the parent one would vibrate and notify, and they will start looking for the kid. And the kid would also try to get back because their lights will be turned off. When they both turn on, they, they're in sync. But from a child's perspective, they really want to be together with mommy. So they will want to get back. Uh, this was from a story that my mom constantly telling me when I was three that she almost lost me in the in the super mall, you know, in the mall. I was playing hide and seek from her and I was hiding inside a huge coat. She spent hours and hours trying to find me and couldn't and she almost were, got desperate and thought I was gone, I was taken. And then she, she saw a pair of little feet sticking out from the coat <laughs> and I was giggling inside. I found it really funny, but she was devastated. Uh, if she had anything like this, it would be very easy for her. Before I even disappear, she would get notified or she can use it to, to try to find me within range. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, it's nice to have a, a kid's tracker that be fashionable and also cool. And uh, yeah. like uh, children get uh, imagination when they see the little flower light up and it's like, uh, you know, you, you're inspiring the, the next generation basically. Definitely. And I also got people buying these telling me that they love uh, using these for their children to learn programming. It's so fun and beautiful for, for kids. They plug it in and it's all open source. You can use Arduino or Scratch to, to reprogram this. If you even have siblings, you can wear this together and do some fun activities. It has, like I mentioned, has touch and accelerometer. So everything basically you need for wearables are integrated on these. So you, you can come up with all kinds of fun interaction using these sensors. By are they part of the learning. crowdfunding too? Yeah, they are. And they're also very uh, well selling products we had uh so we currently only have have a few left um uh, and i guess today in a few in an hour or so we gotta close off the early bird award reward so right now is at half price but uh soon we gotta close it to um full price which is 49 dollars per pair and uh, yeah, these are really rare finds. <laughs> I see. Nice. Uh, that's that's awesome. So when I go around your uh, your page right here, uh, there's 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 a lot of projects. Uh, I don't know if I'm screen sharing correctly. Yeah, you can uh, put back to my images. screen. I'm Isn't showing. Yeah. I'm showing the mother and child scenario. I put your screen right here. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was showing in this GIF a prototype that I handmade. I hand sew all the electronics, but then uh, I collaborated with DF Robots. Uh, we made these PCBs, and even on the back, they look very beautiful. You can see all the components on the back. Nice. Um, are you in a place in Germany where there's uh, nearby a bunch of cool uh, 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 printed electronics or flexible electronics companies that you are working with, or they're like spread around the world? They are spread around the world, but I know that in Germany there are. I have made some connections within the within the country, different flexible electronics companies. So after the pandemic, I look forward to meeting them in person. Nice. All right. This is uh, this is exciting to see what what happens next, and if you can uh, if you can uh, uh, bring the attention to this in a in an awesome way. Even thank you so much. Really appreciate it, and I, I appreciate the audience for supporting us. 
yeah, please check it out. So the link to the Kickstarter, we put it right under here. I think it should be in the YouTube description. And uh, there's, a, ooh, there's a comment. Uh, uh, great conversation. Uh, I wonder how long before we have a phone uh, we can change while it is in a pocket wirelessly. We, could, we can charge. Charge, yeah. About, yeah, so we could just like... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> one thing I'm wondering is if we can connect the smart shoes that that every time you step on it, it keeps mm. like uh, using uh, some kinetic power to to charge your your devices. Yeah, Maybe there's been development sense. there for for a while. Uh, this kind of things is quite difficult to get productized. There are so many great ideas. Uh, one reason I started doing this was like, why are there no <laughs> fashionable and electronics wearables that are mainstream. Uh, it makes total sense that everyone, everything could be smart, but making those things are very difficult and getting people notice that they exist. Like you mentioned the char charging shoes. I think, I believe there were companies that try to do this. So definitely it needs more people to know, to support them. Uh, and we would really love to drive this to be something that more developments can happen. And also, it's great to to uh, bring in the, to make it a conversation, right? When people are wearing something like this, they would want to uh, talk about it and explain mm -hmm. what it how it works and how what's special about it. And you know, like there's a whole conversation to be done uh, when people yeah. approach and say, "Hey, what are you wearing?" And boom, you can explain the whole thing. Yeah, I always enjoy these conversations because I am using fashion as a tool, as a vehicle to get people interested in the technology. That's why I think this is a great idea for girls and women to get them more interested in technology. You can really make them beautiful. You can really use technology in your advantage. So if you already like the visual, uh, then you may want to start a conversation and then you get deeper and deeper into the technologies. You learn a lot more about uh, science and technology. Nice. That's cool. And you're totally also having some apps uh, integrated and the potential with the apps could be all kinds of stuff. I'm thinking uh, like when you talk about distance of the child and the mother, but they could be distance between other people around yes. some kind of sensor. Um, yeah. And with the improvement of Bluetooth technology, we even had ideas of multiple people wearing this. <laughs> so we, we, we hope that we can get to the next version if we get enough support and visibility. So definitely help us spread the word and let your friends know what we're doing. We, we have really interesting ideas to go next. Uh, we, can, we can have a lot of these, uh, everyone wearing this together, and that, that will create a lot of fun activities. Can you have, do you have some other ideas you want to talk about, uh, some of the potential future plans also that you've been thinking about? Well, we uh, want to, as I mentioned, go uh, completely digital before the physical production. So we want to be able to design things virtually, use simulation software, and we can, we, we hope to be able to even uh, make a library of all kinds of electronics and be able to say, hey, we can even have people pick what kind of functionality they want in, in the clothes. So that it really satisfies people with the customization, uh, the look, the technology, the fit, everything is customized for, for people. So we have a lot of vision and we, we hope to get there. Nice. Uh, I mean, uh, I, 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 I could keep like suggesting or trying to ask different ways, but uh, it could be also for sports potentially, or is it more for what, what do you like? Yeah, so for the thing about uh, wearables is also we've seen some sports wear and also some medical device applications. But what about having these functionalities in your everyday clothing? And if, if you have a need for medical monitoring, biometric monitoring, uh, if you have to do it only with certain devices and uh, one particular wearable, you have to 
you have to change. You have to change different clothes. So you can't be wearing the same thing. Uh, so what if we can embed the electronics in all kinds of clothes? You know, all kind of every day you can get it monitored without thinking too much. So you don't have to change your habit to in order to uh, conform yourself to uh, some functionality, but have the technology work for you by just taking care of everything. Nice. This is awesome. All right. So thanks a lot for, for showing all this. And uh, people can check out your Kickstarter, your YouTube channel, uh, your LinkedIn. What, what else? Uh, you have Twitter and yeah, other stuff? Yeah, our website, yeah, uh, Art by Physicist. All right, cool. All right, so thanks a lot. Thanks for showing everything. Thank you and, so much. Thanks, everyone, thanks, for coming. Thanks, everybody, for watching this video. Yeah.